next. And my last book review for tonight. I might have movie reviews, so stay tuned for those. So, this is going to take... Uh, I don't know. We'll find out. So, hardcover for The Little Prince, The Art of the Movie. It's from Titan Books. It's 162 pages. There is your synopsis for that. I have not actually looked at this, so we're going to look at it together. Ain't that going to be fun? So this should be like eh, five to eight minutes, possibly. Tons of spreads throughout, like every art book I do. Hop on your channel and check this shit out with me. Uh, did I ever watch this movie? Mm, no, I never did. I never got into it. I never even heard of it, much less. Because I was just, I don't know. Some stuff I watch. Other stuff I don't really know about until after it's been out. So, yeah. I've never even heard of this, but the art does look pretty good. It's cool shit. So there's a shit ton of text. I'm not a fan of that. <laughs> That's pretty, though. <sighs> so. I do love Titan Books, though. Titan Books has put out some really good material over the past uh, decade and, or so. Like, I really do enjoy their shit. Pretty. Oh, some of this stuff reminds me of, um, Ivan, I can't think of his fucking name. I covered his art book on the channel, but it definitely has that, like, little aesthetic to it, and it also reminds me of Kubo as well, the fox doll. Bella will like that, because she's into foxes and shit. It was cute, though. Super adorable. Mother. Bang. Kidding. Kidding. <laughs> wow. 40 60 in ratio. Okay. Well, that's cool. I do like the little um, symbols beside the number, page numbers. That's cool. This does look very interesting, though. I might have to give the movie a watch and see if I like it. Oh, we have color palettes. Oh, I like that. That's nice. That's really cool. And, of course, they credit who was a part of it. That's a good sign, because most of these art books... <laughs> some do, some don't. <coughs> Marvel. <coughs> Disney. <coughs> Bug in my throat. Hmm. So this is nice. Pages are silky soft. It's like brand new almost, even though it's eight years old. It's crazy. Cool bedroom, though. I like that. That's a, I love depth perception. Uh, I never get tired of that shit. It's always something cool. I want to be essential. <laughs> I want to be popular. <laughs> I don't know. I just want to be recognized, I guess. But if you don't like Titan books, you don't like Little Prince, you don't like art, no, this is not for you. But if you happen to enjoy this, this is definitely something for you. That's good ambience. Love that. And temperature, too. Shit. Yeah, temperatures in this are really... Up and down. I like that. Oh boy. <laughs> Storyboard. No color script, my bad. It was it was it's both. Fuck it. I don't give a shit. <laughs> uh but if you happen to enjoy this, this is a lot of fun. This is cool. I like doing this. This is fun. Cause I rarely ever do these kinds of vids, because I've always, I always look at it first, then show it to you. But sometimes, you know, I just want to kick back and enjoy it for myself, and then... Wow, this shit reminds me of uh, Rankin Bass. Yeah, with the puppets. Yeah. Definitely. 
Yeah, yeah, Rankin does. Holy shit. <laughs> That's exactly what this reminds me of. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. This is nice. Very nice. Wow. Really cool. <laughs> That's cool. Grown ups are certainly very, very odd. <laughs> no shit, kid. No shit. <laughs> Even as an adult, I don't fucking get it. Uh, oh, pretty. I like that one. I love how that's how they did practical shit. Dude, practical is so fucking good. Uh, practical stop motion shit is my jam. That's why I loved Kubo so much, because that was like, wow. Wild. Because, see, I grew up with... I, I got the privilege of watching animation evolve over the years. Which is pretty cool. Whereas this generation is like, CGI is the best thing ever. I'm like, no, it's not. <laughs> There's a lot of good shit besides CGI. Yeah, it's a great evolution, but fuck, dude. You gotta go back to the roots and really appreciate how far it came. Fuck. To the first animated showing, which was two minutes. To... Um... I don't know. Long before Disney reigned, that's for sure. <laughs> This is a very fascinating book. Will I buy it though? I don't know. Oh, my sketches are nice. Definitely highlights the uh, sad clown era. That's a shame most of these pages are chopped down by text. That really sucks. That chafes my fucking nerves. For real, I hate that so much. I'm like, man, I want to enjoy it, but not have to be like, oh, there's so much fucking text. God. Pretty. Almost done now, so that's a good sign. Yeah. But yeah, this is a really neat book. I like this. This is nice. Very nice. You know, good atmospheres, good ambience, good tones. And scale and textures. Oh, man. Scale is a lot of fun for me, because I love that shit. Light and shadows. Oh, man. Light and shadows are the best for me. Palettes. Oh, that's a cool light bulb. That might be a good sticker. Or even a keychain. Huh, I might have to give this movie a try. Pretty plain. If New York was a planet. Uh, <laughs> oh, I love that. Gotta love them concepts. They're so gorgeous. Hmm. Growing up is not the problem for getting his. Yeah, that is fucking true, man. Oh. You grow up so fast and you forget different things and then... You struggle to remember what the hell they were. And it's like, damn. Oh, wow. There's your afterword. 
with no crediting. That's disappointing. <sighs> Bummer. So that was The Little Prince, Art of the Movie. So I'm going to be back a little bit later. I got to check my memories and see if there's anything else to upload. So stay tuned.